welcome back to UC Star Astrologies. I'm your astrologer, Cindy. This is the Love Scorpio horoscope for July 2017. So that sounded a little strange. The Scorpio Love horoscope, July 2017. Okay, so, dear Scorpios. On the 1st of July, Chiron is going retrograde in your 5th house, okay? So, this has to do with self-sabotaging your romantic life or your dating life. Now, this is a sex house and as I have shared with other um, constellations that have Chiron in a sex house, be careful if you are... If you are like hopping around, you know, one night stands and being a playboy or playgirl or whatever, that you just be careful that you don't contract any sexual disease, okay? I'm really straight out, I'm really straight out about this. Chiron is a, represents a centaur who is called the wounded healer okay where he wounded himself and um, then he was always trying to heal others through his you know his own lesson but he learned to he was able to help everyone else heal their wounds but he could not heal his own wound so you don't want to end up being like someone who gets you know contracts AIDS or something and then you're going you know school to school sharing about um, how people should take care and wear condoms be, and you're helping them you know to be careful but yet you would be you know <laughs> have this problem okay so or have this sexual disease you don't want to go there so just be careful another thing that Chiron here retro in the fifth house really makes you think with who you're sleeping around with makes you think who are you dating what you know um, it, it is making you look very deep within yourself wanting to heal your wounds in regards to love thinking okay Maybe you've been your the good kind of a person and you just end up hooking with, you know, like fuck boys all the time. You get always the wrong guys and you have your heart set on one and you think, you know, they're the one. We really hit it off. We have everything in common. And then and then, you know, they're just like not wanting to be seen with you in daylight. They just want to go straight to your house and do that one thing, you know. You know, just hit and run kind of a situation. And you're thinking, you know, why do I always get stuck with the wrong guys? And that's this Chiron in your fifth house um, going retro where you're really thinking about what is it within you that is attracting the wrong guy okay so you may some things may change as soon as Chiron goes forward you may you will be changing the pattern of the kind of people that you are dating so in the, while it's retro it may be really difficult love will be difficult if you are dating someone things are coming up to light and especially because Neptune is here and Neptune is going retro, so your pink rose colored glasses are also thrown off, and you're seeing people for who they are, and you're thinking, okay, you know, I get it, I understand what, you know, I'm always attracting, and things will start changing for the better, but you just have to go through the fire, honey. You have to step on those fiery stones and, like, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> I got it, I got it, now let me get off of these hot stones. And at the end, you you come to the light of the tunnel and, and you change your ways. You change, you know, you could be already changing as it's going retro because it's going retro while Neptune is also retro. So 
it could already be you could already be feeling it now where you're saying that's it sayonara hit the door hit the road jack don't you come back no more no more no more no more <laughs> so that's that kind of an attitude that you're feeling now scorpio in your love life you know just be careful you know not to be promiscuously hopping around with people you don't know where they've been okay okay another thing is uh the south node before the fourth of july venus has been in gemini in your eighth house of sex okay makes you want to you know get your groove on with whoever that you're in love with it makes you really hot and bothered this venus in the eighth house okay now whether you're married or not i don't know but if you are married this venus is aspecting that south node in your fourth house so if you are married it's possible that your husband or your wife is not really getting along with your family or your mother or you with your in-laws something is not right here this is energy that's passing it will go away um especially that that south node in um another saturn um maybe y'all you had a, um discussions regarding politics or religion or things of that sort philosophy and you butted heads with your with your in-laws and so it just passing energy it'll go okay hopefully you didn't burn bridges while communicating and <laughs> okay so um <clears throat> with that with that south node and that north node it just it just could be that you know you were just saying bad words or whatever okay but it really got out of hand uh, emotionally out of hand so on the 9th of July full moon in Capricorn this is your third house now no blah, 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 go back the 4th of July, Venus enters Gemini. I already shared this, okay. Um, hmm. But before that, it was... Okay, no. The 4th of July, Venus enters Gemini. Okay, so. I said it was before that. Okay, so you're just going to have to be careful. It's going to be this whole month until, until that Venus enters it's going to be the whole month because on the 31st Venus enters Cancer. So, um, yeah, <laughs> just be careful, be mindful. If you are married, you know, separate your wife from your in-laws. Don't have too many meetings. And if they start talking about politics and philosophy, it's like, let's change the subject. Let's play Monopoly, you know. <laughs> That's the best way to use up the energy is where they're fighting over a a game board instead <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so um then we on the 9th of july full moon in capricorn this is your your third house of communication now juno is sitting here juno is like the for men the kind of woman that you are at the moment very attracted to so either you're attracted to a Gemini person at the moment someone who's communicative someone who um, is very good with technology um, communication salesman okay so especially because you're because Pluto is here so um, yes it could be that um, there is some kind of with someone that you're working with it's possible that that you're you could be like secretly desiring someone that you work with and, and you communicating maybe um, sexually with this person or secretly with this person and um, yeah maybe through the internet you're getting your flirt on um, this full moon here is really 
intensifying this this you know sexual communication here now we have but Mars opposing this energy in the ninth house so you now this is it could be like you're you're communicating with someone and and um, if you are flirting online if you're single and you start to ask someone like um, let's get on Skype and take your clothes off and so and the person if they're and you don't know that that they're very religious and very um, yes they'll they might in they might em really emotionally jab you like like who the hell do you think you are <laughs> you know and you may feel like whoa they're emotionally insensitive I was just in the mood for something but um, you know, Scorpio people are very sexual people, and you may be you may be too intense. T you know, too intense, too soon, too quick, too fast. Okay, wanting wanting to get your flirt on um, online or or um, whether it's through Skype or whatever, and that Saturn. Um, that Mars opposing um, opposing this this full moon in your ninth house may you know just like ninth house is, has to do with like laws and rules and regulations and just in regards to emotions and someone might say no you know I'm not gonna give you or show you me naked without the emotional side okay unless you are my friend boyfriend unless you really commit and say that we're going to be together then you deserve to see me <laughs> so okay Scorpios don't 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 push too fast in the game now on the 20th of July Mars enters Leo this is your 10th house of career so yeah there there could be and also the 22nd of July Sun enters Leo so this is very good energy for your career for making yourself look really good I mean you're going and getting it and that you could be possibly um, stepping up the ladder in your career um, very strong Leo like energy here uh, right just wanting to be a lion wanting to <clears throat> conquer it conquer them all in uh, showing what you can do in front of your bosses you're really being able to influence your bosses here <clears throat> now you may feel a lot of um, <clears throat> may feel like you're having to spend a lot of entertainment time with your boss going out you know dinners and and having to to uh, make presentations in front of lots of people but it's really good for your reputation they're really respecting you with whatever kind of project or creative project you have to show to anyone after the 22nd of July all eyes are on you and you're really selling it you're really showing them that lion part of you in the career place on the 23rd of July new moon in Leo so something new is happening maybe another project or another job came to an end and now at the 23rd of July and maybe a, a little bit before you know uh, a couple days before you will feel like a new job started a new project started maybe you you got this promotion and now your new your new um, position has started and you're like yeah <laughs> okay on the 31st of July we have Venus entering cancer this is in your ninth house so you're definitely uh, feeling the roots within your family you know you could be wanting to um, take a little excursion somewhere inland within your country wanting to look at maybe if you're in Austria maybe wanting to look and enjoy the castles within your area your own culture your own roots 
um, wanting to spend that time perhaps with your honey honey, you know, wanting to just be romantic and have some kind of romantic excursion or spending time with your family and going on a little vacation um, within your country. Okay, or it could be the neighboring country if you live in Europe, so it's not very far like over the ocean or something like that. So, depending on what other, you know, moon and, and rising sign you have, because this is only for Scorpio. So, yes, that was the love and money horoscope for Scorpio July 2017 and please like share and subscribe if you want a personal reading with me then just check out my description box below where you can just click on the link to my PayPal button and we can make an appointment together okay until next time bye